had a pull up or uh, pull up a hobo pump, clean it out just in case you get rags in there. Uh, first, first thing we're going to do is we're going to close the AM valve, make sure it's nicely closed. It's already been closed prior to the video to save some time. Our discharge valve is going to be closed, already closed uh, prior to the video to save some time also. We got our uh, 8 millimeter Allen wrench head on uh, a socket drive to uh, remove three bolts. We got three bolts, one on, one on each side. You got the, the bolts on the right, which we don't touch. We remove the bolts on the left. They were already removed prior to the video to save time for the video as well. Um, the bolts on the right will separate the motor from the oil chamber. So we don't want to touch those unless we want to refill the oil chamber. So we remove the ones on the left, which separates the pump and power from the, from the bowl or the glue. So that's what we did already prior to starting the video. And up here we got a, a basic come along that we got at the hardware store. Uh, we just we'll raise it up so that we, uh, we can inspect the power or the glue from the bowl. Basically come along and raise it up. At this point we can suspect if we got any rags down in the in the bowl or in the color. We got cutters on our color. We got cutters on our blue. Uh, like I said, it's a home pump made in Germany. And uh, we we're pumping uh, waste, raw waste from our lift station in our collection system. So uh, that's basically all you do in order to put it back in. It's the way we took it off in reverse. Put your pump down, put, put your bolts, line up your bolts, drop it in, put them down, screw them in, and open your valves and, and run your pump. There you go. It's just as simple as that. Thank you.